Oh, this is very dangerous, I think. The shaft is going to come out. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to show you what happens when we apply voltage to the DC motors higher than their rated voltage. Now by higher voltage I do not mean 5 times or 10 times but 500 times or even more than 1000 times. The two circuits that you see here are the high voltage CFL inverter circuits which are connected to each other as one and are being operated by a laptop charger. If you want to know how the connections were done, you should go to my previous video. The link has been provided in the description. And as I said in my previous video that these circuits are easily available in the market at a very low cost. But still if you want to make it yourself, you should watch my transistor life hack video. That link has also been provided in the description. Okay, so let's go on with the practical work. Okay, the positive terminal of the laptop charger has already been connected to the input side of the CFL inverter circuit. And what I have to do is... I have to touch the negative terminal which has been attached to a screwdriver to this terminal. This is the negative of the CFL inverters. Common negative. Now I am going to touch it there. Now the circuit is on. Now I will show you the high voltage strength. You can see that the electrons are jumping from one terminal to the other. Okay, and it is beautiful and very dangerous. Since, as I said in my previous video, that the current is not in microamperes, it is in milliamperes and is very deadly. Okay, so guys, this is a 24 volts permanent magnet DC motor, and I'm going to run this with this 4000 volts DC supply okay okay so let's do the connections first okay now what I have to do is I have to touch the screwdriver to this common negative input of these two inverter circuits and the circuit will start operating and so will the motor Okay, go. So guys, you can hear the sound. It is operating very fast. Okay, so now I will connect this 3 volts DC motor to this power supply. Okay. Okay, so the motor is stable now. Now I am going to give it the input supply. Okay, now let's see the RPM. You can hear the sound. Now let's do one more thing. Let's connect a propeller to it. Okay, go. You can hear the sound. Yeah, it is running very fast but the terminals are opposite ok so I have to change the terminal ok so now it's fine
Okay, go. Yeah, it is running very, very fast. So yeah, this technique can also be used in drones and quadrocopters. Like we can multiply the input voltage supply and and feed it to the low voltage DC motors. Like uh, I'm doing 4,000 volts to a 3 volts DC motor. And obviously, I know that uh, some of the voltage must be dropping. But even uh, if the drop is around 500 volts, still I'm feeding it 3,500 volts to this motor. Okay. So one more time. Yeah. And now guys I'm going to operate this 24 watts, 24 volts Japanese DC motor. Let's see if the circuit is powerful enough to operate this motor as well. Okay, so guys, this is the DC motor. And these are its two terminals. So let's do the connections first. Okay, so the connections have been made. Now all I have to do is touch this terminal and if the circuit and power supply is powerful enough it should start this motor at least. Okay, go. Yeah, the motor is starting. And of course if you are doing such tests, don't touch any metallic part because the high voltage is going to activate every metal around it. Ooh. The RPM is very high, the speed is really high. Let's do once again. Oh. This is very dangerous, I think. The shaft is going to come out. Okay, one more time. It's amazing. It is very scary because if it is going to come out then the momentum will be so much that it is going to destroy anything that it gets in contact with so I'm not going to make the full test of the high voltage RPM operation of this motor okay so guys that was all about the video how we can operate low voltage DC motors with a high voltage input DC supply and of course if the current is not very high then the motor will motors will not get damaged and of course since the rpm is very high and the dc motors are brushed ones the brushes are going to be consumed at a really high rate because because of the friction high friction okay so guys that would be all about the video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe you can also share your views about this video if you like such system or if it's a bad idea whatever your views are and of course for queries i'm always there thank you so much for watching it thank you